Hi everyone, I'm Jen Schrader with City Communications and we're here um, for an exciting part of our city election that's coming up on April 6th. We thank you for joining us or maybe you're watching this later, but we're doing it live on Facebook so that people can see this process. I have Sarah Johnson with me, our city clerk. Thanks for being with Hi. us. And we have Carlene too from her team <laughs> at the city clerk's office. And what? tell us a little bit about what you're doing, Sarah. Sure, so the order that candidates will appear on the ballot is determined by chance. So the by chance way we're doing it is I'm going to put all the candidate names in this. This is truly an old ballot box that was used in city elections <laughs> years and years and years it's and years and years ago. Object. Yes. So it's very fragile. So we're going to put the names in this container and I'm going to just draw them out by chance. And that will determine the order that the candidates are listed on the actual ballot that our voters will receive. And the reason we're doing this publicly is so everyone can see that process unfold and Correct. it's Correct, so everyone can see that it was a fair process that, you know, as I always say, either Lady Luck's on your side or not on your side. So everybody think happy thoughts. Okay, do you want a drum roll? I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> But we're so, doing each district at a time. We're going to do one district at a time. So I'll, I'll pick up the little slips of paper that I have here with all the candidates for District 1. We're going to start with District 1, and I'll read those aloud. I'll fold them, put them in here. Then I will draw them out, and we're going to write them down. Carlene's writing them down on a, a paper over here, and we're going to flash the camera to that so you can see the order. Um, and then uh, Jen is going to read that order again for each district. We are then going to update the website candidate listing to make sure there are those names are in ballot order. The order on the website now is just the order people filed within that district. So this order will determine how and where your or not how excuse me where your name is going to be on the ballot when the voter gets it. Okay. The name that's on the ballot was. Uh, chosen by the candidate. There is a form they fill out when they file that says, here's how I want my name listed on the ballot. And so that's how we determine what name is listed. For example, Dave versus David, those kind of things. Okay. So the first name was Dave Donaldson. Again, we're doing District 1. The second name going in the box is Jim Mason. Again, District 1. The next name is Glenn Carlson. So as you can see, I'm just folding them so I can't see who they are. The last name for District 1 going in the box is Michael Seeger. All right, so I've got all the candidates. I'm going to swish them around. I was going to say, a large gust of wind. A no. large gust of we're, wind. We're not that high tech here. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw them out, and this will begin the true ballot order. Okay. So let me get all mixed up. All right. So... Jim Mason, and I'm going to put the ones I've already drawn out. They're going to go over here to the side. We're going to have Michael Seeger. We're going to have Glenn Carlson. And the last one in the box, but certainly not least, is Dave Donaldson. Okay, so I'll read those again. So number one, Jim Mason. Number two, Michael Seeger. Number three, Glenn Carlson. And number four, Dave Donaldson. And forgive us if we mispronounce any names today. <laughs> yes, so that is the ballot order for District 1. So now we're going to go to District 2. And so I'm going to do the same process, fold the the paper items, put them in the ballot box, draw them out randomly. So the first name going in the box, Dave Geislinger. Dave no David Noblet. Jay Inman. Randy Helms. Mix these up right now. And as you can see, I'm not looking. I not looking, know. not looking. <laughs> not looking at all. So the first name is Jay Inman. Second name, David Noblet.
Dave Geislinger. Followed by Randy Helms. Okay, so order for District 2. Jay Inman, number one. Number two, David Noblet. Number three, Dave Geislinger. And number four, Randy Helms. So we will move to District 3. And while you're doing that, Sarah, um, the website, again, coloradosprings.gov slash election. Right. Just for folks if they want to go see the full list after. And now we're going to go to District 3. So the first name in the list is Arthur Glenn. Followed by Henry McCall. Followed by Olivia Lupia. Followed by Richard Scorman. Again, I'm just going to draw out those names in ballot order. I think I just have one. Henry McCall. Richard Scorman. Arthur Glenn. And the last one is Olivia Lupia. Okay, District 3 again. Number one, Henry McCall. Number two, Richard Scorman. Number three, Arthur Glenn. And number four, Olivia Lupia. All right, so we will move to, oh, give them one second. Let's take a look at that. We'll take, take a quick shot so people can look if they're just tuning in. And again, these will be on our website. And now we're going to move on to District 4. We're running out of paper space here. We're going to go to page 2. <laughs> <laughs> so District 4, Regina English and Yolanda Avila. A good mix up in there, hopefully. Make sure I just have one. Regina English. And then Yolanda Avila. Okay, District 4, number one, Regina English. Number two, Yolanda Avila. We will move to District 5. So we have Justin Hermes, and I apologize if I too am pronouncing names wrong. I'm sure Justin will let me know, and I hope he does. Then we have Carly Van Arnhem. We have Mary Elizabeth Fabian. Again, we're doing District 5 now. Matt Zelenok. Nancy Hengem. Again, we're going to mix these up a bit. Get my sweater sleeve out of the way here. Easy to remember, we have five candidates for District 5, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Who have I got here? Nancy Hengem. Matt Zelenok. Carly Van Arnhem. Justin Hermes. And Mary Elizabeth Fabian. Okay, District 5 once again. Number 1, Nancy Hengem. Number 2, Matt Zelenok. Number 3, Carly Van Arnhem. Number 4, Justin James Fletcher Hermes. And number 5, Mary Elizabeth Fabian. All right, last district but not least. 
District 6. District 6. So we have Garfield Johnson and Mike O'Malley. Mix these up a little bit. All right. Who do I have? Garfield Johnson. And Mike O'Malley. Okay, District 6, number one, Garfield Johnson. Number two, Mike O'Malley. We'll get one more shot there of the second page. That's good, fast writing, Carlene. <laughs> Excellent penmanship. <laughs> nice penmanship, <laughs> yes. And again, these will be posted on the website at coloradosprings.gov slash election. Anything else, candidates, or anyone else? I don't needs think so. I think if we can flip that back over and maybe do another quick shot of each set line up just for people. And as Jen said, we will be updating the website with ballot order. But if you tuned in late, that is the candidates, and that is the order. One thing I do want to point out is that any of these candidates have until 5 p.m. today to withdraw. If they decide that they want to withdraw, they're not sure they want to run, or maybe they don't like their ballot position, you know, for a multitude of reasons. It takes a lot to step up and run. So if they do decide with, with, to withdraw, the deadline is 5 p.m. today. Okay. If they withdraw, we will simply take their name off the ballot and move everybody up a slot. That's how we handle those withdrawals. There is one candidate who was not sufficient on his petitions in district five but he also has until 5 p.m today to turn in additional signatures if he does he's not done that now if he does and he is sufficient we will put him at the end of the list okay just to let everybody know the reason we're drawing this before the 5 p.m deadline is all of these candidates they want to know What's the ballot order? A lot of media, a lot of civic groups are wanting to do surveys and set up forums and those things. And I also need to connect with our ballot printers because I need to get those military ballots printed starting next week to get them out pursuant to the 45 day window. Okay. So it's really important that we set this a little bit early in the day today. So keep tuned to the website for that list of candidates and it's coloradosprings.gov slash election. And then if you're a voter um, tuning in or listening, ballots will go out around March 12th. Right. Our goal is to get those sent out the first day we can mail ballots pursuant to city code, and that is March 12th. Okay, so be looking for those ballots in the mail. Oh, no, I'm not registered. What do I do? There's lots that you can do on the website, too. There's a link um, to make sure that you're registered or if you've moved and to make sure you're updated and can have your voice heard in the city election. Thank you both, and thanks Absolutely. for tuning in.